Ecobee Sensors Maximize Comfort and Minimize Energy Bill Hey there, smart home enthusiasts! Welcome to our Smart Home Tech Channel! Get ready to revolutionize your home's climate control! Today, we delve into the extraordinary world of the Ecobee Thermostat, a game-changer in the smart thermostat market. With its ingenious remote sensors, this cutting-edge device boasts a unique advantage over its rivals. But that's just the beginning of this captivating journey. Join us as we uncover the facts, features, and installation know-how that will transform your home into the epitome of comfort and efficiency. Let's dive in! The Ecobee thermostat has a unique advantage over its rivals because of its remote sensors. You can put these small satellite monitors anywhere in your home to give the Ecobee thermostat more information about the temperature and activity in your home. You'll have to do a little setup to instruct the Ecobee thermostat how to use this information to keep you relaxed. But it's not hard and should only take a few minutes. Let's get going! Facts about Ecobee Sensors Firstly, you should know there is a motion monitor in the Ecobee Sensors that tells the Ecobee thermostat which parts of your house are being used. They also have a temperature sensor so that they can figure out how to keep you the most relaxed. There is no humidity monitor in the remote sensors, but the Ecobee thermostat does have one. Secondly, passive infrared motion sensors are used for the motion sensors. This means that they use the infrared light that all things naturally give off to find movement, so they work whether it's light or dark. Going on, they communicate with the base unit using radio waves in the same frequency range as Z-Wave. But unlike Z-Wave technology, which uses a mesh network, they use a star network. So, all of the devices have to be within the thermostat's range. Still on facts, the remote devices are powered by batteries, so you can put them anywhere you want. The old Ecobee room monitors use CR2032 batteries, which look like little silver coins. It will work for 18 to 24 months. The new smart sensors, on the other hand, use a CR2477 battery that should last for five years. They also say that the battery life of a monitor will be shorter if it is put in a place where there is a lot of movement. You don't have to worry about when to change the batteries because the Ecobee thermostat will let you know when the batteries in any of the sensors are getting low. Lastly, you should know that the Ecobee can connect up to 32 sensors at a time. We think that more than four monitors are too many for the vast majority of people. The base unit itself is a sensor, and the original package comes with an extra remote sensor. You should be fine if you buy one extra pair of sensors. Most houses have the base unit in the middle of the house. Put one sensor in the master bedroom, one in the sitting room, and maybe one in the office. Range of Ecobee Sensors if you put your remote sensors too far away from your Ecobee thermostat, they may stop working or become less reliable. The sensors are said to have a maximum range of 45 feet. The device's range in the open air is likely at least 100 feet. But Ecobee says the range is 45 feet because there are bound to be obstacles in your home. If your base unit is in the middle of your home, you can put your sensors anywhere in a circle with a radius of 90 feet. That price range should be good to go for most homes. Remember that walls and other objects will make the range shorter. If you are having trouble connecting, it's likely that you were on the edge of the range. Range of Motion Detection The remote sensors can detect about 120 degrees to the left and right and about 25 to 30 degrees up and down. They can pick up on movement up to 15 feet away. The sensor on the main unit also has a 120 degree angle, but its range is only two to six feet. Not to get yourself confused, it's angle degrees we're talking about, not temperature degrees. The sensors won't be set off by every little movement they pick up. They are made to be sensitive enough that pets shouldn't be able to set off the motion monitor. Since a sensor can't tell how far away an item is, it will detect something close to it as much bigger than something far away. So, 
At 10 feet, it will take a much bigger item than at 10 inches to set off the motion sensor. How to install your Ecobee sensors. Installing a new Ecobee remote sensor is simple and shouldn't take more than a minute or two. The back of your new sensor will have a plastic tab that sticks out. This keeps the sensor from being turned on by the battery. You shouldn't take off the plastic until the sensor is ready to be connected. Don't try to connect the monitor until you've already set up and tested the smart thermostat. Go to your thermostat and bring the sensor with you when you are ready to connect it. Only from the thermostat unit can the sensors be put in place. Turn on the home screen, then pull the tab of plastic off the sensor. The power will link and your screen should change to the sensor's setup screen in a few seconds. Press yes to connect the monitor to the thermostat. If the screen doesn't pop up, take off the sensor's back cover and place the battery backward. Let it sit for about a minute. Then put the battery back in the right way and it should work. Next, you need to give the sensor a name. You can either type in your name or pick one from a list. Then pick the comfort settings that the sensor will be a part of. You can always change it if you want to. Just press finish and that's it. For each sensor, repeat the method as many times as you need. Placement of Ecobee Sensors After you've paired the sensor, you'll need to find a place to put it. Ecobee says that the monitor should be about 5 feet high for the best temperature readings. For the best results, sensors should be pointed at doors and places where people sit. The little B on the sensor should be looking up and to the right. It's best not to put a sensor right in the kitchen since the temperature there can change a lot when you're cooking. As you might expect, this could make the thermostat act in ways you don't want. Putting the thermostat on the edge of the kitchen would be a better idea. There, it will still be able to watch for movement in the kitchen, but the temperature it reads will be much more normal because the air in the kitchen will have a chance to be cooled by the rest of the house. Putting sensors around the house follows the same kind of reasoning. Don't put a monitor right next to an outside door or window that lets in a lot of cold air. Don't put a sensor somewhere that it could get full sunlight. Even if you spend a lot of time in the bathroom, it's probably best not to put a sensor there. Things will be thrown off by a long, hot shower. Features of the Ecobee Remote Sensor From the sensor menu, you can get to all the choices and features for the sensor. The mobile app, the web app, and the Ecobee thermostat can all be used to get to the sensing menu. But here, let's give some of them. Number one, participation of sensors. Home, away, and sleep are the three basic comfort profiles. By choosing a sensor from the sensor menu, you can choose which sensors to use for each comfort setting when using sensor participation. You can choose which comfort settings each sensor will use. For the sleep comfort setting, you can choose it to be so only the bedroom sensor is turned on. This means that when the thermostat is set to the sleep comfort profile, the heat or air conditioning will only be turned on based on the temperature given by the bedroom sensor. Number two, follow me. When follow me is turned on, the Ecobee thermostat will take the average temperature of all sensors that are reporting actions and use that temperature to decide when to turn on your equipment but it doesn't immediately take the sum of all the sensors that report motion. If a sensor picks up on movements, the temperature of the new sensor is slowly brought up to speed. To be fully blended in, it will need to be found in motion more than once over time. The good thing is that it doesn't matter much if you go to a room quickly and then leave it again. If you go into a room to stay for a while, it will take some time to get used to it. This is mostly meant to make things more comfortable. Whether or not it is an energy-saving trait will depend on how well the room you spend the most time in heats and cools. If you spend most of your time in the living room and that room tends to be warmer than the rest of the house, here's what will happen. If you want to control your living room, the air conditioner will have to work hard to get it to the temperature you want. The rest of the house will be cooled to a lower temperature than the one you set, but the Ecobee won't care because it will only be using the sensors in the living room. You'll be comfy, but you won't save any energy by watching TV. If you are in heating mode, 
Your warm living room will hit the set point before the rest of your house, and the furnace will turn off. You'll stay warm and save some energy, but you might need a blanket and shoes for the rest of your house. It can't be set to a different temperature in each room. In fact, no thermometer on its own could do that. You need to be able to control the temperature in order to heat or cool one room without also affecting other rooms. Smart vents can help with that. Follow Me can be turned on or off from the Ecobee thermostat, the app, or the web interface. If Follow Me is turned off, the average temperature of all the sensors that are part of the system will be taken, whether they are sensing movement or not. We can see how this could sometimes be nice and sometimes could be a bit of a pain. Everything can be changed, and if you don't like something, you can even turn it off. From what we've seen, the monitors work well, are easy to set up, and are simple to use. We think the Ecobee thermostat gives you the most ways to change it than any other smart thermostat on the market. The remote devices make this ability even better. Except for the Ecobee 3 Lite, when you buy an Ecobee thermostat, it comes with one remote sensor. If you need more sensors, you can buy them in two packs. Have you experienced the magic of Ecobee's remote sensors yet? Tell us your thoughts and share your favorite features in the comments below. Are you planning to make the switch to this revolutionary smart thermostat? We'd love to hear about your installation experiences and how it has transformed your home's climate control. Remember, knowledge is power, and the Ecobee thermostat puts the power in your hands. For more details, click the link in the description below this video. Stay tuned for more exciting tech explorations, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest adventures. Until next time, embrace innovation, embrace comfort, and embrace the future.